Another scripture that describes particular angels as fire or light is Psalms 104, 3, which says, Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers, a flaming fire. This is also reiterated in the New Testament in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 14. Enoch goes on to explain that the angelic beings are made out of fire and the essence of God. The Bible also states that our God is an all-consuming fire, hence the cloud by day and the fire by night that the Israelites followed in the wilderness. The Bible says in 1 John 1, 5 that God actually is light and in him there is no darkness. Light exists as a vibrational frequency that can be measured and seen. This is why the Hebrews declare, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is one. God is in all and through all, and nothing exists that can claim itself that is not vibration or light. God is literally in everything. Life is energy, movement, and growth, and such is the kingdom of God. There are many different spectrums and colors of light as depicted in the rainbow. There are angels and beings that vibrate on different light frequencies in which they also travel. The seraphim are part of the angelic order and hierarchy of God, and their name literally translates to the fiery ones. In Judges 13.20, there is a story about when Manoah meets with an angel of the Lord. The angel actually leaves their presence and ascends into heaven by entering into a flame of fire that Manoah built as a burnt offering to God. The ancients believed that fire was holy itself and offered it up to God as a sacrifice. They believed that smoke carried their prayers up to heaven. Download the audiobook today for free by clicking the Audible link below.